Neither Windows Media Player nor iTunes makes any permanent changes to your files for uh, auto-voluming your levels. What they do instead, they read your files, and then when you play it back through them, your songs are about the same level. iTunes does it when you first start it up, and in Windows Media Player, you have to change one setting. So let's take a look at that first. So we go into Media Player, and let's uh, reopen that back up. We go over to Organize on the far left and you go down here to options and let's move this over here and you'll see this setting here add volume leveling information values for new files well one thing is is that you have to turn it on and then it's also only for new files now so we're going to click on ok down here and that'll apply that change uh, to the system so it's ready to apply it to new files so if we go, just click on OK. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go right back in. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, one other setting, now, although it should be off, you want to make sure that uh, we go back in up here and Options. And we want to make sure that the Delete Files from Computer when deleted from Library is turned off. Now, we're not going to use that function, but just for your future use, you should make sure that's turned off. Now, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to Manage Libraries Music. And you'll see that I have a master's music here where I have all my uh, audio files, all my music files. It's on a hard drive here. I have it there called master music. And they're all there. They're not underneath the users and all that. You may have multiple ones there, but I, I don't. So I'm going to click on that and say remove and say OK. And sure enough, everything starts to dis disappear from the library. What I end up with is an empty database. There's nothing left. So it's um, not being deleted, it's just being empty. So we're going back in here to music, and I'm going to add the library right back in. And again, you can add in as many as you want from these other locations where you might have it under the music there or under, uh, maybe you have it under your user directory, you have several users, but whatever you need. So anyways, I'm going to go back to uh, my masters here, go back to music, and I'm going to say, okay, I want to includes in my library and here's the name of it here to make sure I'm in the right spot and say include and there it is so all I have to do now is say OK and it re-indexes it as if they were new so if you look down here you'll see it says volume leveling eMusic uh, acoustic alchemy and it's going to do that for all the files so now once it's done if we go back here and we look down here again it says update complete. I cut out a couple minutes worth of processing there. Now Windows Media has a nice feature here. If we go back in uh, to it again, and if I want to export to a device, now that's whether it's a hard drive, a phone you got connected up, anything that's recognized as a storage will show up over here. There's a hard drive, there's one of my phones, uh, there's a USB drive. So all you have to do is drag something over there and then you can start to sync. Uh, I'm going to go grab, uh, let's see, a couple other albums here as well, at least one. So uh, let me find uh, another album here, and let's uh, drag something over to the drive. Some of the Luther Vandross, and come over here, and we'll drag one more album over. Oh, and Huey Lewis, I'm going to grab him, drop him in over there. And now I have these three albums ready to be written out to this device. So I just say Start Sync. So let's go take a look at the drive itself uh, right here. And there it is. Now it has a music directory here that's been put there by Media Player. And it's in the middle of writing out the files. So if we go in here and uh, take a look at what's going on, uh, we can see what Media, media Player is doing. So uh, it should be finishing up on Luther here in a second. Oh, there's Huey Lewis in the news. So if we go in here, we can uh, take a look at the artist, uh, drill in from the artist name uh, that's going on over here. And say, oh, Live at 25 is the album. And it's writing it out. It's just finishing up now. So we have these three albums now written out to this uh, USB stick. What's important to note that these, these albums are not volume balance to where they're all the same volume. 
So if you put them in your car or somewhere else, they could come out as different volumes because they're not being played through a Windows Media Player. Uh, and so we're going to go into how you can fix that for exported files. So let's take a look. Now I don't recommend outside, at least I don't endorse outside programs, but a program here called MP3 Gain, and not MP3 Gain Pro, but MP3 Gain is uh, the original program by the author, has been out there for years, uh, and it only takes donations, so it's cost free because it's an open source. Uh, we're going to go out here and download it. Now the usual caveat supply, make sure you have a virus checker. I had no problem with it, but make sure you have your virus checker running. and. Uh, as you can see, it hasn't been updated since 2009 because it runs perfectly. And it talks about the MP3 Pro uh, Doctor was renamed his the MP3 Game Pro. But the problem with that one is, is that it does it doesn't it does something extra and it writes out your files and they cannot be undone. Where an MP3 Gain it can be. It's very important you use use MP3 Gain. So. Uh, let's go out to the uh, download. So let's go up here and we're going to uh, click on the download uh, button. And by the way, you'll uh, notice that there's some translations available. Don't click on the first one here because if you don't have the uh, Visual Basic stuff installed, uh, it, won't, it won't be able to run. What you want is the full installation here. It's the same exact program, it just has some runtime stuff that need, Windows needs to run. And since this was written in 2009, you may not have it, especially if you have a new installation of uh, Windows 10. But you could try the other one first. So I'm skipping the download and all that stuff. You guys can figure all that out yourself and put it somewhere installed on your system. So here I am. Uh, by the way, I put a shortcut, but you also want to go down here to Properties and change it in the Advanced uh, button down here to run as administrator because it has to write some log files out. So let's go ahead and run it. So, once it comes up, and there it is, it's a really simple interface. Uh, you're just going to be able to add files here. So we're going to grab Add Folder to make a whole folder. But we're going to go out to the USB drive and look at the actual ones that I wrote out there. And so we're not going to modify your original ones. Uh, you're going to modify the ones that are on your drive that you wrote to. Because it's going to run on some external system that doesn't use a Windows Media Player. It's going to run on something that reads the file for what they are. So don't mess with these. Go down here to your uh, stick or whatever you put in, SD card, whatever, and add that to an MP3 gain. So we're going to go up here. Now you can do an analysis first, but if you use the gain right off the bat, uh, you can go ahead and just do that. And that'll do the gain uh, analysis first and then do that. So if we click on this, if you notice over here, it has the album volumes and all that. Now I've set mine for 94. It defaults with 89, but it makes it too soft. So I actually wanted to make it higher. So you see here it's adjusting the volumes on the file as it goes to all B94.7. Let's zoom through the rest because I'd already done these, but you'll see that these on this stick are all being adjusted to the proper volume that you want for that particular stick. So, uh, once it's done, you'll see the progress bar at the bottom of uh, each one of the files, and eventually the entire thing is done, and uh, we're good to go. So, if we go take a look uh, at the album volumes, they're all very, very close together, so they should play approximately the same volume on that device uh, that you're playing it back on, whether it's a, uh, a music player or maybe in your car. So if we go out here to the actual drive again, we go over here to the music folder, and there you have it. We see Boney James, Body Language. It was written out today at 12.40 uh, p.m., and uh, that's good to go. And every one of them was modified, actually written to. So that, again, when you pop them in your player, that these will all play approximately the same loudness. What's even better is you have not touched your original files. They're there. You just copy them out, and now this program has modified them for use on that particular device. Now iTunes uh, does it when you first open up iTunes. It'll go ahead and import your library and apply everything there so you don't have to worry about it. But again, it doesn't write out just like Windows Media Player. So you have to use MP3 Gain to write those things out to do it and have auto-leveling on other devices. 
Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.